4.38 a.m. Sunday, December 19th, 2021. Oh. Yesterday was an odd one. Last 48 hours have been something else. 36 to 48. Not just for the brief virality or whatever. And I can't even, I can barely call it that. I mean, relatively speaking, that's huge, right? But in, in the long run of things, no, that ain't, that ain't nothing. Um, certainly, it's not really the, the first time, but definitely a little bit bigger than, than the last one. Um, yesterday, I woke up. One or one thirty in the afternoon. Had worked the night before, and uh, or no, no. What was it? I'd uh, had the virality, and then went to bed. Got up, went to work. Spent about an hour, hour and a half sitting here drinking coffee, smoked cigarettes, morning meditation. Catch up on the news. That's what I do. And uh, apparently what had happened was, in my grog from awakening, I had at some point, I believe, taken my daily multivitamin that I take, a one a day, one daily. I also take two of these with it. Before I went to work, I could not specifically recall, and this is not in a... Uh, Anything that could uh, um, approach dementia kind of way of forgetting. But in a, a obsessive compulsive tendency, which is the thing that I've been diagnosed with uh, tendencies to that with the bipolar. Um, what it does for me is it's things where you get a, a brief false memory of having done a, a little thing. It's, it's never something significant. It is simply a false positive on did I do the thing I needed to do real quick. So I got a false negative on vitamins and I took my vitamins. Then I went to work, and I realized about an hour later, when uh, digestion began, that uh, something was, was not quite right. I uh, had experienced something similar uh, when my previous uh, daily vitamin at that point included uh, chewable children's vitamin C, which also included multivitamins with iron, and if I had too many of them, I could definitely get some high blood pressure and issues. Um, so I was experiencing some uh, high blood pressure, anxiety, hyper-awareness, um, definitely excessive energy. Um, I wasn't moving super fast. I wasn't too jittery, but it was just the, 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 the rush and the anxiety was, was more than I could handle because I had to work. So I ended up. Dosing my uh, normal uh, mood stabilizer and anti-anxiety medication, which is to say it's typically a microdose, to attempt to calm my nerves, knowing that somewhere about the halfway point, which was only an hour or two away at that point, um, I would get a chance to take a break. And what I do sometimes on the weekends is if I'm having a, a rough night or if uh, for whatever reason just, you know, the mood's not there or something or whatever, there's all kinds of good reasons what a good little cat nap will fix. So sometimes at the lunch break of my night, instead of working a nine or ten hour night, I will go for about four and a half hours, four hours, head home for about an hour and a half to take a solid nap, snuggle up with my kitties, change their water, be present with them. And then I will awaken refreshed and go back to work for the second half of the night. Usually if it's been a bad first half, the second half picks up. And sometimes I don't take a break. Sometimes there's absolutely no need. Uh, but last night, and uh, this is to say Friday night, not Saturday night. I've already done a video that I uploaded uh, regarding referring to Friday night, but or, or was going into Friday night when it was uploaded. Anyways, you can see I'm a little spaced. Um, I overdose on vitamin D. 
uh, possibly vitamin C, but vitamin C overdose is a little different. Uh, the issue was is that uh, anticonvulsant mood stabilizer does not require an antidepressant, and vitamin C is a natural antidepressant, so it was just an odd feeling. Not at all comfortable, is how I describe it. The interaction between the mood stabilizer and this overdose caused me to start seeing auras and rainbow streamers coming off of lights. I was detecting the radiation around me, too, because there was certain places where it was real hard. And so, uh, boss man come up and said, you want to take a nap or uh, take a nap, take a break? And I said, yes, sir, I would. And he says, okie doke. I said, I'll be back in a little bit. And I came back and I felt totally better. I had a chance to really sleep it off. And, and the reason for that is, uh, it's what I think of as the honey badger technique is that in this case, this was not a, a drug overdose per se, but a vitamin, which is technically a kind of drug. But, you know, I wasn't popping vitamins like candy or Vicodins. I, it was nothing like that. I had just not remembered that I had initially taken them. Uh, normally, I'm fairly spry in the morning when I first wake up. And that day, with all the virality and gone to bed and woke up, and nothing was quite the same. So I went to work, and I had this thing happen, and I uh, took my nap. And I, basically, what... I am aware of is when you sleep is when your body best regenerates. It's when your cells, uh, you know, grow or divide when, you know, you're, you basically take yourself out of it and, you know, your body's in torpor and rest, your blood pressure changes. And it's kind of like maintenance time. Um, you grow when you sleep, you heal when you sleep, you heal when you're awake and you grow when you're awake too. But the majority of it occurs when you are asleep. So I hunt literally honey badgered off. The uh, vitamin D overdose and the excess C. Uh, what happened was I basically torpored myself, uh, was able to lose track of time and, and awareness, which constitutes, you know, uh, in what I refer to as uh, disconnecting or dipping out, uh, soft reset is a way of thinking about it. And that I was able to completely disconnect from my concept of self awareness, reality, and circumstance for just a moment. And coming back to, you know, it's a whole fresh head. Um, the danger of napping is you can wreck your sleep schedule if you nap too much. Uh, my days off, sometimes I nap often. Uh, and then when it comes time to get back to work, it, it can be tricky. Um, with this unique circumstance, uh, I was able to recognize from a previous psychedelic experience what was happening without getting confused, was able to navigate, deal with, and go on about my thing. Um, another way of thinking about it would be that these are all natural um, nutrients and vitamins that your body needs, your brain needs, all these things. And if there was any deficiency, you know, it certainly was topped off, even though my body would be having a hard time processing it. Um, Yeah, your body's very sensitive to vitamin D. Um, when I'm looking at the most gargantuan numbers of things, vitamin B, 12, 750% in one pill. So, 1,500% of a daily intake. Chromium, 343%, 686%. Copper, that's a bad one, 222, so 444. Selenium, 200, so 400. Um, and today I was just kind of, I didn't take my vitamin when I woke up. I already knew going to bed. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that in the morning. I'll be fine for the day. I was a little bit low energy, which sucked, and financially it sucked, but uh, recovering from an overdose. Um, did okay, mood was good, money was, eh. not to say bad, bad, the amount cumulatively was not, you know, outside the average, but it is the week before Christmas. Um, everybody else was catching big 
automatic on the app Christmas tips. Talking $20 tips. Um, I got the percentage wise, a couple people had like free pizza deals. So it was like an $8 order and they tipped me like $7. Um, I appreciate the math that goes into that. I appreciate that as a gift. No complaints, right? And I'm really not complaining about the other ones. But I am complaining about the people that gave me the other ones. Because it was like, what I caught was all of the bum-ass people that normally don't tip being like, here's three bucks, Merry Christmas. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. I'm not complaining about the tip. That's how you should tip all the time. And so, yeah, you know, my mood is mixed, but I'm not in a mixed state. But uh, holidays coming on. My coworker tonight, whom I've known since we were both very young, recognized something about me that basically nobody else mentions. And I'm not going to say it. If you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. And then I told him about the one person who happened to be my sister who eventually one day sent me a text out of the blue that was like, you know, everybody was talking about how I was and how mom was and how they were. And I never thought to ask how you were. And, you know, that stuck with me. That was the point at which the any, any, any negative emotion or consideration toward my sister was gone. Everything that is a fact of reality, the way that she and I function as minds, that we are best not around each other. But here and there are those couple of little moments, a handful of people that helped without any particular coercion. And then a few more people that helped out once they realized other people were because obviously there's going to be people that want to want to get seen doing a thing. So the other day I recorded a rough version of what should have been an introduction to the channel for all the new subscribers and... Never uploaded it because it wasn't that great. Uh, right now, this is what I'm doing. If you're new and seeing this. Uh, if you're new and seeing this, tell me what the weather's like a week and a half from now when you finally see it in your suggestions or your home screen. Um, in the comments below, if you feel like it, no pressure. You can let me know how it feels to be like, oh, wait a minute. Dude, it took a week and a half for them to randomly show you anything. So anyways, that little, that little thing was kind of fun. It was a waved ride. It was something different, I guess. I don't enjoy being like that. Nothing good comes of any of that. It really can't. I don't know if anything bad will necessarily come from some parts of things, but nothing good. I don't. I. I don't know. Let me. Let me. Let me think about that. I got a couple minutes here. Pardon me a moment. You don't need to see me spit. Improving quality one iota at a time. I have plans and ideas for content on this channel. 
as far as ideas and things to say. It would be nice to be able to do them in some fun settings and whatnot else, because otherwise it's just me sitting here talking at my phone. I would like to get into some exposition about the Constitution. I think it is vital. I used to do this kind of thing on social media all the time. And so maybe that's why that urge is there. And I mean, there's already a ton of really good interpretations of things out there. But the people that are subscribed to me, that regularly get my content, are not necessarily exposed to any of that stuff. They either avoid certain types of content or they're never shown it. I'm kind of a, a bridge in that sense, the, the passing of information that I am compelled to do is typically, I found the best way to do it is rather than go looking for people and throw information at them, is that, that there will be people who just didn't know that, that they can learn it from me. And I have become really, really, really good at not having situations like what Tim Pool had happen, happen. And the reason for that is because if you watch that, Tim provoked the dude. I mean, bro was such a tool. He was easy to manipulate. But and I mean, I mean, I even caught on to it. The the vibe of it, as is evident. But uh Oh, moly. Princess. Pretty princess. Printer paper. I think her new name is also going to include dot matrix, maybe. Pretty princess. Dot the printer. She makes these little chirps that sound like a, a thermal printer kind of things. What was I saying again? Maybe something good can come from that, but I feel like Tim kind of provoked the dude on purpose for the members' content. And maybe they talked and were like, hey man, that shit never fucking burned down and everybody thought it was gonna, do you want, but the way they talked about it, it kind of seemed like real. It's a new episode of uh, When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. To close out my time on this video, for those who are new, I do my content within the paradigm of how I think, how I view the world, my belief system. I am generally courteous towards others' points of view. I am not one of those bigots that's going to tell you that you're wrong just because we disagree. But what I am going to say is that I believe what I believe. And what I believe is not the same as what I think, what I feel. Or what the facts are necessarily. And it doesn't have to be. But I like my stuff to line up. But you should see me face my bills. I'm obsessive about keeping them faced and cornered. In my belief system. I have found magic that works. I've occasionally had a, times when prayer worked in the same level of efficiency. I have had a ton of loss. I have no direct or clear indication if any of it is like law of threes. It predates any of my interactions with, uh, you know, the esoteric. Other than some stuff as a kid that occasionally returns to memory that uh, some interesting occurrences that happened when I was quite young, but in fact, all 
before any real like age of reason. Certainly not before uh, the brain was done growing. In my belief system, good and evil are a thing. In my belief system, there is definitely some kind of higher power thing going on. But I am, I don't want to say I am agnostic. And sometimes I venture into the zone of, of a, what I used to refer to as Gnostic agnostic. Because it's like, there's a lot of stuff that I can be aware of spiritually, metaphysically. And I'm not talking about reading minds or any crap like that. I'm just talking about like getting a sense of where the, the tumblers are at in the cosmic thing or at least in our local neighborhood. And how sometimes that stuff all seems to have a coincidental activity in life. And in your own belief system, if you've heard of a thing called long-suffering, or have any knowledge of the types of people who are prone to such things, who would also be afflicted with a number of significant, but ultimately not profitable gifts. Welcome to my channel. I am the kiosk. This is just a character. 